Yo, YouTube, what's up with y'all, man? What's going on? So look, let's jump right into it, man. Foods you guys need to stay away from on your semen retention journey that's gonna kill your manhood and your masculinity. That's gonna decrease your testosterone. I'm just gonna go through the list and I'm gonna give it to you guys one by one. Number one is gonna be highly processed foods, man. So what are highly processed foods? These are gonna be McDonald's, your Burger Kings, your, your Wendy's, your... Uh, your fried foods, man. Five guys. All these, all these foods that are, that are fried is gonna decrease your libido, right? Um, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it, it's gonna fuck up your third eye. You're not gonna be able to to think clearly. And you guys can attest to this. Just think about it, man. When you eat food, yeah, you, you eat fast food. Uh, how do you feel afterwards? How do you do? You really feel productive? You know what I'm saying? Right, so fried foods is one man that will decrease the testosterone. Um, number two is going to be soy. Right, there's been a, a lot of case studies um, that soy, um, anything, any food that that that, that, that contains soy, um, is going to decrease the testosterone. These are case studies. You can look it up on your own time. Um, so anything with soy, man, you guys got to watch out, man. When you guys are buying foods, look at these ingredients, man. Look at the nutrition facts. You know, we just look at the we look at the front of the box and we say, "Oh yeah, looks good." You just run with the shit, nah, bro. You gotta look at this shit, man. You know, gotta look at it. Gotta look at it, man. Um, number three is gonna be dairy. And I know y'all thinking right now, bro. I, I deal. I can't. I can't do it, bro. I can't. I gotta have dairy. I'm gonna tell you one thing, bro. And this is coming from me, bro. I cut out meat. Right. Only thing I do eat is seafood, which I'm gonna jump into, which is actually is good for you. Um. I cut out milk, dairy, right? Because what you guys don't know, or some of you guys may know, these cows that are on these farms, man, what you guys don't know, bro, I watched a video, right? And the farmer literally went through, went, went in the female's cow's vagina and, 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 and injected hormones, right? Uh, pretty much so the, so the cow can lactate, so it can produce milk. And it was the nastiest shit I ever seen, bro. So when you go in these stores, bro, most of the milk is is, is 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 hormones added to it, right? So I cut that shit out, bro, and I and my testosterone. I felt more like a man, right? This is not just me bullshitting, man. Like I'm being for real, and I want you guys to try it out. You tell me how it feels. You know what I'm saying? So I started drinking almond milk, right? I started drinking almond milk, and I feel better. You know what I'm saying? I feel more productive when I drink it. You know what I'm saying? I might have some oatmeal, whatever the case is. Um, you know, yogurt is another one, man. I know it's great for protein, uh, but you guys can get protein from, you know, instead of yogurt, man, try peanut butter, uh, almond butter. You know what I'm saying? Those are better options for you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, what else we got in dairy, man? What else we got? And obviously with this, man, is uh, it's cool to do with in moderation. I ain't tell you got to go cold turkey and don't touch dairy seven days out of the week. You know, maybe go six days and maybe one day you you cheat. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, look, bro, there's, there's alternatives to it, right? Um, so we had dairy. Um, and I, I, I want to say meat. I want to say chicken. And I do want to say beef. Um, chicken, too. It's very hard with chicken because it's very rare. You go into these stores and, and, and there's no hormones added to these chicken, the, uh, the brands that you guys buy. You know, unless you guys go organic, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you might have those companies where everything is grass-fed. These chickens are, like, uh, in the private farms, you know what I'm saying, where the farmers are actually, you know, they're cleaning up the environment these chickens are in. But come on, man. Like, most of the time, these companies, man, they're trying to make money, bro. They just, they pump it and dump it, killing these chickens, adding hormones into them, all this other shit. And, and, and it makes us feminine. It makes us more feminine by, 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 by default. Of this shit they're adding to these meats, man. So what I want you guys to do, obviously, bro, I am not a dietitian. Please, I'm just giving you guys my advice. What's worked for me? You know what I'm saying, your boy, come on, bro. Yo, like I'm in your boy in shape. So hey, I know a little something. I know a little something. Huh? Get on a seafood diet. Try seafood. Maybe cut out meat, beef, chicken. Just do seafood. Seafood has a lot of zinc. A lot of zinc, tuna, tuna fish, uh, salmon, omega threes, which is which uh, is first off obviously it's a great protein, 
and zinc the zinc aids in testosterone production so the, the more zinc that you have is is what help produces testosterone right and i can tell you bro when i used to i mean i still eat seafood i eat tuna fish salmon bro i do feel i do feel it you know what i'm saying i do feel it when i'm eating it man uh yeah bro try that tuna uh sardines um uh, oysters, oysters, big man. Lobster, obviously, lobster is more expensive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, lobster expensive, but uh, if you got the money, buy it. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely, man. Um, the foods you need to be eating a lot of a, a lot of fruit, watermelon. You know, watermelon helps in testosterone production. Um, a lot of mangoes, cucumbers. It's going to help you hydrate yourself. It's going to keep your body hydrated. Uh, mangoes, pineapples, vegetables, man. You want to asparagus, right? Uh, spinach, uh, broccoli. Um, what else am I missing, man? Squash, zucchini. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, add some rice in there, man. Rice is good. Uh, avocados is great, brother. Avocado is a, is a great healthy fat that actually helps too. Um, that actually there's a it's, it's proven to it to help in testosterone production. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys one herbal supplement. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna give y'all too much of the sauce, man. I'm gonna give y'all one. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say that for another video. Um, go ahead and get you some ashwagandha, some ashwagandha powder. Um, so if you deal with stress, you got anxiety that you deal with. I was taking this for like a, a month, two months straight. Brother, I, I could talk to anybody. I'm always social, but I just noticed, bro, like when I was on Ashwagandha, I was very stress-free. Um, <clears throat> it is aphrodisiac. It does help with erections. It does boost testosterone, and it does boost your performance in a gym. You know, when I was on Ashwagandha, I just took a break because with every herbal supplement, you do want to do it in moderation. Um, even in directions and everything, they'll tell you, hey, once you finish, Take a couple weeks off and then go back. That way, uh, cause when your body get used to it, after a certain period, uh, excuse me, after a certain period, it just stop. The effects just to stop. You know what I'm saying? So, take two weeks off and then get back on it. You know what I'm saying? Two, three weeks, boom, and you back on that shit, right? Um, but that shit helps big time, bro. Ashwagandha, big time. Strength in the gym. Man, I'll give you guys one more. I'm gonna give you guys one more. Ashwagandha and maca. Get you some maca root powder. Or get the capsules. But I think the powder is always going to be better because it's the root extract. Get you some maca root, bro. Your shit going to be like this, bro. I'm telling you. But the thing is, these herbal supplements is not going to do you no good, brother, if you're still eating light shit. You know? But when you're retaining your seed and you eating healthy and you adding these supplements, brother, you are going to be a super saiyan. And, and everybody's going to feel your energy when you're out in public. <laughs> you 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 retaining your seed. You eating healthy now, so you are eating fruits and vegetables. You cutting out uh, certain meats, right? Obviously, I'm just recommending it for you guys, but I'm just telling you guys it will work for me. And it might not work for you, but just try it out. You guys have nothing to lose, man. Try it out. Um. So now you retaining your seed. You eating healthy. It hit the fucking gym too. It hit them weights. And you added a couple herbal supplements, natural supplements that grow from the earth. These are plants. You know, the Indians, it was it's an Indian ginseng. Ashwagandha is from India. Uh, maca is from, from Peru. And maca was given to the uh, the Inca warriors in the Maya civilization. That's what they would live on is, is maca. It's a plant. And they would use this to boost their, their stamina and their performance when they're at war. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a real shit, bro. This is real shit that goes from the ground. It's not some shit they make in the lab. You know? You just got to make sure when you're looking online, make sure you're getting the right shit. Make sure it's authentic, maca powder, organic. You know, uh, get that Sun Foods brand. That's what I used to get. Sun Foods. Uh, get you a Foods Alive brand. I try the Foods Alive. It's good. Um, and they got another one that's expensive, man. I think it's like Royal Royal Maca. I think Royal Maca or something like that. Actually expensive. That's like puro, pure, pure, pure maca powder, right? So, um, if you got the money for it, buy it. Um, 
But yeah, man, seafood, a lot of vegetables and fruits, um, exercise, man, and hit your fucking hit legs, bro. Um, hitting your lower body, squats, lunges, just your lower body. When you exercise your lower body, it helps boost the salsa room. You're going to feel more like a man when you do leg exercises. Right, this is this stuff, but you can look this stuff up, man. I'm just telling you, I'm telling you guys. Right, so with that being said, man, I hope that helped you guys, man. Um, just improve your whole masculine aura because this is important for us, man. The foods that the that the, the system tries to put on us is is meant to, to, to feminize us, man. We, we we masculine by nature. But these companies, man, they, it's like a, it's like a right now, bro. We live in the age 2023. Is a, is a, is a, is a, is a shot against masculinity, right? So through these times, man, but we need people need the men the most right now. They count on you as a man to show up as a man. It starts with yourself first, man. Get your diet on point. Get this on point. <laughs> Get this on point. You know what I'm saying? And um. That's it, brother. Praise to the Most High. Praise to Allah. Praise to God and all. That's it, man. Let's keep growing, man. Let's keep getting better, all right? Peace. I'm out of here.